There is plenty of talk about technical progress and innovation happening in the game of soccer. But more important than anything on the field is what the game can do off the field to drive progress in the communities around it. We caught up with Joanne Neal of MLS Works to learn more about how the league and players are helping to improve their communities. So what's your guys' most valuable accomplishment off the field? Um, I think for me, my most valuable accomplishment is obviously having four kids as well as doing work with my Giro Foundation and starting that and working with inner city kids through my after school programs locally as well as throughout the Caribbean and um, starting up my own academy to create a pathway for kids like myself who grew up in inner city programs. So I'm very proud of, of establishing these initiatives for the kids in my community. And how much of that, of, of, your, of your childhood, of your own youth, and then having, having your own kids has impacted your, your I guess, your will to, to stay involved in your community? Everything, it has everything to do with who I am and what I am today. You know, so those, those programs are huge and that's why I feel the need to give back and create the same platforms for, for the kids growing up in, in this generation. Yeah. Josie, how do you use the game and the platform that it gives you to, to support the communities? Well, first of all, my son is probably my greatest contribution so far to this earth, but beyond that, I love giving back and you know, using my platform to kind of communicate with, with fans and people that, that need it. We're in a very lucky position and to, to do good, I think, is, uh, is something that we're very fortunate to be able to do. Hey, Joanna. Joanna, are you there? I'm here. All right, it's so great to talk to you. I've got Josie Altador and Dwayne De Rosario, two of your favorite people in the community here. We're just talking about the progress that the league's made on and off the field. And uh, you're currently overseeing MLS Works, the league's community outreach initiative. How has the league helped to drive progress in our local communities? We work really closely with our clubs and focus on social issues that are relevant today and timely. Things like inclusion, anti-bullying, sustainability to try to drive positive social change in our community. As, as leagues evolve, what are the key initiatives that are taking place right now? One of our primary focuses is, is an initiative called Soccer Fall, and that's about diversity and inclusion. Um, and it really signifies just that, that everyone is welcome. That's, that's amazing. It's great to hear. And what are, what are some other ways that the clubs and players are some supporting our communities? Yeah, the, the, the clubs, almost all of them have their own charitable foundation. And the work that they do really varies on the need of their local community. Social responsibility is one of our core values. It's important to us as a league, it's an, and it's important to our fans. We plan to continue to expand our initiatives and, and hopefully continue to give back to the communities and the fans that support us. That's great to hear. That's amazing. Well, Joanne, thank you so much for your time. And we're proud of what you guys are doing and glad that we can be a, a small part in helping drive this thing forward. Thank you, and thank you for all you guys are doing. Thanks, really Joanne. appreciate it. Thanks, Joanne. Thank you. Uh, what's been the most visual to you in terms of the, the support of communities through, uh, through MLS teams? Branding, jerseys. Not, even, not only even in Toronto, just, every, just globally now. You're seeing it as a global brand now. So MLS is not no more just a US-based market. I just came back from Russia and the talk was MLS. You know, and so it's just showing you how much it's grown and how much um, the great game has evolved. Josie, talk to me about the the Josie Altador Foundation and 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 what its goals are. I started it obviously to help with hurricane relief when um, Haiti got hit with a, a terrible earthquake in 2010, and, and since then it's kind of just transformed into you know I've, I've given out scholarships, I've provided homes for people in Haiti fresh water wells, whatever you may think, you know, I've, I've been able to do it. And how are you using technology to, to better the lives of others? It's huge, man. I mean, you're able to connect with people all across the world. I mean, I can talk today with somebody FaceTime from here to Haiti to, to Africa to, to wherever. And soccer was your way out of tougher situations when you were younger. How are you using sort of that experience in your life to, to, to sort of pay the game back? Sharing the experience, sharing the pathway. You know, as Josie mentioned, nowadays you have social media, so it helps bridge the gap a lot more. Using the advancement of technology and, and also working with the kids to realize how fortunate they are and how much they can see the world without even traveling. What are your current sort of focuses on how you can how you can help that, or, or is that where your focus is on, on, on a particular need that you know? It's unfortunate to see the crime rate at, at where it is right now. If more after-school programs are accessible for a lot of these kids, who knows, we would probably have more athletes coming through the ranks, more more leaders and, and more kids in the position to make uh, wiser and better decisions. This is us, this is us up here. Right here. All right, man. Thanks a lot, man. No problem, man. Good ride with y'all. Appreciate you letting us ride with you. Joseph Express, baby, I got you. Keep doing your thing. <laughs> you know what I mean?
Tell your friends and family, man. Helping the lives of Keep others. Shining, Appreciate buddy. it, man. All right, man. Take care. Good to see you all, man. Take care, okay? Take care.